Right, I'm going to be dyeing some jungle cock. This is the large jungle cock for some of the tube flies I'm going to be tying and some spay flies. Now when you dye these, basically it's a, f a flame, which is a mixture of hot orange dye and this is fluorescent red dye. Now, first thing we do, obviously I've washed the jungle cock. Just make sure the feathers are wet. And then we add in a tiny bit of the hot orange dye into this. this just come to the boil the water. And you don't need much for that small patch. Just make sure it's, it's actually dissolved. Now when it comes to the fluorescent red, you just need a just a wee touch. Not much. I mean dyeing materials is just basically trial and error and I've got I've dyed quite a lot of materials now so I got an idea that should be okay. I'm needing a ready side anyway, I want a nice so warm or flame as I call it. Now as I say I've basically rinsed the jungle cock feathers, making sure they're reasonably wet so that the, the dye gets into it. Now I'm gonna get these in to the dye. Just move it around. And you just spend a minute or so making sure the the dye is into or I'm basically making sure the, the feathers are wet. It doesn't matter with the bottom, it's the tips you're more interested in. And I'm just gonna make sure it's in the dye. Now I want to set the dye, it doesn't take long. I don't spend a lot of time the dye or the feathers in the dye, uh, especially jungle cock. I'm just going to put in some vinegar because it's an acid based dye, you've got to do that. And then we just rinse this, put this in. Now you will see the, the dye starting to take, you'll see the feathers starting to go. Now, as you can see, I've left it off the heat slightly just to be because the dye will. With these feathers, dye so easy. Uh, if it was hair, you'd have to make sure the dye was well in before you start to take, or well, you get plenty of time for the dye to take. But you'll see just now, if I lift it up to the edge of the pot, you'll see the orange side in the in the jungle cock. Now these are quite light eyes, that's why I'm dyeing them. They don't have a lot of colour in them. An ideal for dyeing, so you get a, a lovely colour. Just keep moving it around. Normally what I like to do is put the lid on, give it a minute or so. Now, just a wee quick check of our feathers, make sure the dye's taken alright. Just check them, lift them to the side like there and have a wee quick look. Now I've got, I'll put some water into a, a basin here, just cold water. And I'm going to get a quick look at, you can see the colour, how warm it is. Now, it looks quite good, I'm happy with that. Now there's the colour. Just checking it. Now that's fine, I'm happy with that. So we can turn the dye off, remove the pot and then we can dry these feathers. Now all I do is dry them. Take away the excess. Don't squeeze it too much because of the jungle cock eye. Now I've got a towel here. And all I'm going to do is basically press the jungle cock, an old towel, don't use your new towels, just to take out most of the moisture. You can see I get a wee shaked with it. An idea what the feather looks like, and there we are. Now, sometimes what I do is press these these feathers because they, because of the eye they curl up a wee bit. So just press them between a couple of sheets of paper and put a book on top, and this will flatten the eye out for you. And that's how I dye the jungle cock eyes. Now I've come to the basically finished product of the dyeing process of the jungle cock eyes. 
And as you can see, the eyes are nice and bright, nice and clean. As you can see, I put it onto a, a basically a piece of cardboard and I laid a book on top, or a magazine would be ideal, just to flatten the eyes back down. And you can see the colours nearly nice and bright. So that's how I dye the jungle cock eyes. Now the fly I'm going to be dyeing, which will be in the next video, is a fly called the Heineken. This is the just a tube fly. And this is why I, I was dying the, the jungle cock for. So anyway, look forward to dying this one. Mm -hmm.